All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Aaron Wilson for Inside the 49. We are here to talk today about um, Brock Purdy. Is he the man? Can he do enough to take us to the promised land, back to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl? We don't know. Um, joining me today is my partner in crime, Chris Wilson. How are you doing today, Chris? Pretty good. So we're uh, recording here on Thursday before the big game. That we'll yeah. probably decide the division so we can um, – Secure our playoff spot and win the division with a victory today over against the Seahawks. Our, Seahawks. Our, our, our rival the ar- Seahawks. arch nemesis Seahawks, and uh, all this all this hatred for the Rams that's going around. I said I still hate the Seahawks more than the Rams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So, um, you care all thing for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Interesting to see how long, how much longer he lies there. So, uh, we have two sides of uh, the coin here, people. We have positivity side which comes from me which is trying to see the best out of everybody and then we have the reasonable side which comes from chris and his <laughs> concern for the quarter, our new quarterback yeah I, I try to find the best in people too but we're talking about football you know this is true it's true. Like, i guess i try to find the best people and football as well success well i mean there, right. there, are, there are a lot of things that he does well and yeah. a lot of those things were evident on sunday no doubt about it. I mean, the fact that he is 2-0, I mean, he pretty much, I know he didn't start the first game, but, I mean, he's pretty much 2-0 as as a, as a quarterback is is a huge, huge benefit and blessing for the Niners that they've been able to um, find, find him um, a little bit of a diamond in the rough. But we're going to take some time, break down his passes, um, and see what we, you know, see what we see uh, from him. So we're going to start from the top, um, from his first series, from the first series for the 49ers, and uh, let's see what we see. Uh, first play we know is a little of a, of the uh, of an ugly one, but let's check it out. Yeah. So we're going empty backfield, <laughs> clean rush. <laughs> Doesn't see that clean rush, uh, clean rush to the rush to the pocket, rush to the pocket. All right. So what could he have done differently on that one? He could have changed the play at the line. I think he actually did change the play at the line of scrimmage, if I remember this one correctly. Uh, so he might have been run first and then went to the pass. Um, but what, what could he have done differently on this play? I don't know. Go back. Let's, see. let's let's run it back. I mean, he he that was personal foul, right? Yeah, that was a personal foul. So uh, leading with the leading with the crown of the helmet. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, they just bring an extra guy, right? And McGlinchey isn't going to help. Yeah. Let's see what McGlinchey does right off the bat. So they do a little bit of a uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, a little yeah. bit of a stunt. Yes, so, so, yes, they do a stunt, and that just yeah blows McGlinchey's mind, and he's not able to do anything about it here. Yeah, I mean, and, he does he does need to take the D tackle. Um, so I mean, they're they're I mean, they're stunning with bringing an extra guy. So they're yeah. going they're going heavy on the right hand side. You see on the left hand side um, of the 49ers offense, they're going they're going three on two. So um, yeah. you can't he, really he needs to throw into the blitz, and he needs to recognize the blitz is on. Yeah. Um, right. He should be looking at. See, the problem is he's looking the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, he's looking kind of the middle middle of the field, but I mean, even yeah, if he's he looking at, he wants to hit, hit Ayuk here. Yeah. Yep, because he sees two on one on a yeah. linebacker, and then Ayuk. So he's playing on Ayuk. Here. So he, yeah. he doesn't even see this, the the guy. I don't think. Until he kills him. Like so. Until he kills him. Until he has him. He's a good job of holding on to the ball. But I mean, yeah. I mean, that that kind of thing is going to happen to a rookie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, you'll see it again here where you got the three on two com- coming there with the stunt. Yeah. So, the so, yeah, yeah. He's got to know where the where the potential blitzers are. Yeah. You know, he he knows where the potential blitzers are coming from pre snap, and he needs to know if they're blitzing or not. Because you know, yeah. if you throw this ball into the blitz, then you're going to be in good shape. Right there. If he yeah. if he gets rid of the ball right there to IU coming he, across the middle, he can give it to anybody if he really wants yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, they're all open. I mean, Kittle's. I don't know what Kittle is doing. Well, he's, Kittle's he's trying, trying to take, move. He's trying, trying to take, take space. space because yeah. you know, yeah. match, match match concept. Yeah. Okay. So first down. Nice play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 
Good job by McCaffrey. See that's deep on the backfield. Yeah, he he just gets a little he gets a little antsy here after after what just happened to him. <laughs> so he just throws it in the general direction of him, even even though he he, he had a a pocket, right? Like, wh why is he throwing the ball here? Because Diva's not ready for it, and there are two guys over there. Why don't you wait until, until some of your other guys that open up? And that play wasn't going anywhere. But it, oh, I, 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 you're muted. He's probably looking at he's probably looking at Shanahan right now, being like, "What? What the heck is going on? What, what, why, why is he throwing that ball to me so quickly?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I think Debo's uh, complaining to the ref because the guy was all over him. All right, okay, so, so here it's second and ten. What are we gonna do? Run the ball, right? Oh, we're gonna play action. How about that? Look how well it worked. And okay, so we're running sail. Oh, oh, that was nice. So, so we were sort of running sail, except look at that, look, look at Ayuk. He cuts it way into the uh, in the middle of the field there. So that's interesting. But, but you know, the, this play the entire time is to Kittle. But, but, now, does he does he look to Ayuk's way? Because, I mean, Ayuk would have been an interesting throw if he could... See, and, and this is sort of my problem with Purdy, my issue with Purdy is I don't think he can throw that far to hit Ayuk when you, if he cuts over the middle. You're still muted, by the way. As much as everyone wants to hear me talk. In, in, the, in the out of mute. In the out of mute. Makes absolutely no sense. Um, but I digress. Yeah, I'm, it's a good... Yeah, I think Ayuk is just he sees that there's two guys that are going to be on him if he continues to run that route and he decides that okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to spread no, out. I, off of it. I don't know. I don't know I, if it's designed I, that I way. Or runs not. A, I think he runs, runs a double move there because normally his job would be to take that guy out of the play, and he doesn't do, try to do that. He tries to take both. The, he tries yeah. to cut behind that safety man. He wants that that play is potentially a deep throw. Yeah. But that's not a throw that that Purdy can make, and and that that's that's sort of my issue with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously it's it's covered up. It's a it's a good throw, but he's got, really doesn't. I mean, the yeah. question is, could he could he stop there and plant it and try to go somewhere else or yeah. not? I mean, I don't, if he, if he had more, in the case, if he had more arm, you know. But here he goes yeah. third down. Yeah. So this this is the this is the big one. You yeah. Know? Th thank this you. For big not one, Kittle. <laughs> all uh, right so what what, what do we this, got here this is what McCaffrey gives you on yeah. third down that's why he needs right. to be on the field every third down yeah they, I mean look at the eyes from the blitz. cornerback thanks a lot up here yeah I mean What's look it? at the eyes from the cornerback the corner where is the cornerback looking he's looking at yeah. McCaffrey yeah. They're, they're so worried they're so worried about him and that nice little dig by Kittle or Post I don't know if you want to call it yeah. um it's a nice it's hey look it's a nice throw it's yeah. on. It's on time. It does its job. It's a nice play design. We we're love. We're loving this. Watch it from the other side. Yeah. So, so they they rushed two guys, but it was really late, and he got. Yeah. I mean, he got the ball really quickly all game long. Yeah. Just like yeah. Garoppolo, because that's what you have to yeah. do in this offense. Yeah. All right. First down. And he's really good at handing the ball off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice. That's a nice block by. Um, I think it was a kiddo coming across. Or was a juice coming across, and seals it. That's nah, juice coming across. Very nice. Dude. No, it's kiddo. It's a double. It's a double seal. Oh, nice. nice. By both, yeah, the, by, by the, both the, of them. That's very good blocking by there. Yeah, I like Tight that. Tight end players. <laughs> All right, so back to first down. Kid on the backfield. Mm -hmm. Okay, which we've seen a little bit here, here and there, but not not a ton. I don't think. Yeah, um, I mean, I, we, we have our tight end in the backfield. We have a. Uh, <laughs> Wide receiver, running, running back, running back, playing wide receiver. Right, wide receiver. It's what we do. It's yeah. What we do. Yep. 
right? Nice motion, get him out of the way. Nice block, Mama Glinchy. Nice fight. Yeah. Kittle does it just enough, you know, yep. just enough to get him in the end zone. Yeah, I've, I've watched this play a couple of times. I mean, he would have gotten killed otherwise. Um, but but having all those guys, you know, you know, you know they, they had the motion, which which brings the the corner across. Yep. Shows uh, man. Turn man, yeah, and then you see that all of their faster guys could get caught up like in traffic. So it's just a bunch of fat guys running after him at the end. Yeah, safety's too deep. Other corner looks like other safety so is. Kittle just needs to take up before, and and then yeah. he's got to outrun that that fat guy over there, you know. And then of course the safeties come, or the yeah safeties and corners come back and come over late. So oh Debo, uh, it, it'll be alright. We'll get him back. We'll get yes. him back. Yes, from, he will from back. thinking that from thinking that he was going to be done for the season when you saw him on that cart to actually being able to potentially get him back towards mm-hmm. the end of the season or the first game of the playoffs. I mean, talk about a blessing. That's yeah, that's, that's huge. Let's All right, just, so, yeah. So second series, second offensive series. Start out with a pass, which we like. Yeah, which which they're surprised. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, look at ninety-eight here on the, here on the bottom. You know, he's thinking it's going to be run um, all the way. They're you know they're stacked up, um, and then oh, the dump off. This is a miss. The dump off to Kittle. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's Which see if there's any reason reason for it. They had a lot of uh, space there. Yeah, I mean, this is just a bad. I mean, he's trying to get the ball up over top yeah. of him, which is un- mm-hmm. which I mean, he's which is understandable. He, he's also not very tall. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he did. We understand now a little bit more from this angle. You know why that ball was so over his head is because he did um, have to throw that ball high. He didn't have to throw it that high. He could have got away with. But you know, better safe than sorry. But I mean, if he catches that ball, I mean, talking about Kittle with uh, Williams in front of him, he's he's gonna take yeah. that thing a little bit. Yep. It's, it's uh, a it's a shame that they didn't complete that because that could have been good. Mm-hmm. All right, second down, second and ten. What are we gonna do? Well, normally we run. <laughs> Let's see what we do this time. There it is. All right, and we get stuffed. <laughs> and we get stuffed, which we shouldn't be doing. So n- now we're in another bad situation. Yeah. But we're in, we're in we're in a Garoppolo situation. <laughs> yeah, so we're in third and ten. And we need a quarterback to make a good play. Yeah, we need our wide receivers to get up and high. <laughs> it's it's kind of them to to have their safeties play all the way back there. What, what, yeah, what, I don't even know what they're what are they playing here. I don't know. They're going three. They're going three it, deep. This, I mean, there's this is man three. <laughs> is that what this is? No, 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 no. That's not really a thing. Um, no, I mean, it, it, but it is. I mean, no, it's, it is. Um, it is man, man. Man three, they should call it man three. I think they call it man three. I don't know what they call it Madden when you just take you're playing man across the board, but you're playing three deep safeties. Why why play the safety so far off the oh, first down oh, marker? Because they want us to get a first, I guess. And all the time. I mean all the time in the world. I think they end up calling Williams on a on a hold yeah. on this one. Yeah, yeah, which is which is pretty pretty lame. Yeah. But, I mean that, that was let's, a good, let's good see job. what it, I mean, that's a good job. I mean, he's getting – He didn't have, he didn't have anybody to throw to, so he, yeah. he spun move, <laughs> spin moved. He owed it. <laughs> if that's the same button that it used to be in Madden. <laughs> yes, that is the same button it used to be in Madden. Okay. All right, let's see what they're trying to do. Um, I mean, Everyone's Kittles – Everyone's getting held. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard, obviously – Hard to tell. It's like Kittles' first read. Um, you know, if he can gun one in that right, right there, he he can. Um, yeah. I think he's got he's got enough space. You know, Garoppolo would yeah. make this throw. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, this is an easy Garoppolo first down. That's like where he lives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, he's looking at a rookie quarterback, so he sees two guys, so he's safe and sorry, which we appreciate. Um, but he's got to be able to pull the trigger here and throw that ball right there, and it's quick. You know, it's gotta be, he's, it's gotta be he, a quick read. Yeah, he needs to have already thrown the ball. Because yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that other the, the third safety eventually comes up. Well, first of all, where on earth is is the middle safety going? Like oh, he literally where can't is... he can't throw that far. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know well, where where is he going? <laughs> yeah, I mean his. What's he concerned about? You got me, man. 
He's telling yeah. 54 to cover Kittle. So he's worried about the 50 yard pass. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea what he's yeah. doing. So this is where he needs to throw the ball right here because he's he yeah. should be able to see. That's where he's staring. He's staring at Kittle, and he says Kittle so, has yeah. a step on him. The guy, the guy is off balance. Chuck that yep. thing right there instead yep. of chucking it over and there. First down, move, yeah, move there. the sticks. Move the sticks, right? All right, but and let's let's see. All right, it's, it's good only... that he doesn't throw it late because it would have been pick six. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, I guess the second read here is actually I believe that's Debo coming across the field at the fifty. Um, I'm not sure if he's looking there or not, but again, he does have two guys on him, kind of, but not really. Again, it's all about can you make the contested throw, or are you waiting for a guy to really get open? Yeah. Um, but I was, in, I mean, I was impressed. He he got out of the pocket. You know, he does. Yeah. Like, he did he got out of the pocket, and he got. The, I mean, he really got the first down in my mind in that phase. Yeah. And it comes back. It comes back. It comes back. Right. That was a, that's a lame, lame call. But yeah, yeah that's a good job. He's got to throw it now. Bam. Right now. Yep. Yeah. He'll catch that thing. <laughs> or now. <laughs> but it, yeah. Or, or, but, you know, that safety was trying to um, trying to jump it. Yeah. He was yeah. trying to jump it. He could have run then. He could, could have thrown it then. All right. So we get a hold, hold on um, Trent Williams. Um, and now we're third and 20? 15? 16? Something like that. All right. What are we going to run? A screen, right? A screen, right? <laughs> I mean, and come on. The screen. Yep. There's yeah. a screen, and it doesn't work. Shocker. I think it was a hold, a hold as well that ends up coming back. All right. So, didn't make, you know, didn't make any mistakes, but could have made, obviously, could have made two throws that could have been, um, yeah. could have been, could have been difference makers, you know? So, all right. So, let's go third. There's a third one. Third. <laughs> I'll take the Debo. Right. Nice. Move in a pocket well. And yeah, let yeah, Kittle eat. Yeah. So, I mean, Kittle loves sitting down in the zone, and he's, yep. he's definitely going to eat. That, Fake. Thanks from uh, across. I mean, it, that, that's a, you know, that play does a pretty good job of moving that linebacker. And then yeah, with sure. 46 is like streaking, streaking back, is I'm wondering what, what's the situation like safety wise? If you were to throw to Jennings. Let's see. Oh, no, there, there must be somebody over there. Yeah, he throws it all back. Let's, let's look at it from the other side. Let's see. So it's, we're looking at Jennings here on the top. Let's see what... he, he must have said, yeah, he, okay, he had, he had uh, there's a safety up top. Because when I, when I see this, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, if, if Jennings takes over in the middle a little bit, that... Yeah. No one, no, you know, 46 is... And I, man, I, I mean... I also didn't notice is that Ayuk on who's just it's uncovered. Ayuk on the bottom streaking with nobody around him. Yeah. So the what? safeties got over. Yeah. So let me see it again. Right, or go go press play. Man. Yeah, there are a lot of Oh uh, no, that's 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 Dan- is that Danny Gray? Is that Danny Gray? I thought it was Danny Gray on the bottom. Really? Oh. I think so. All right, so I mean, the problem here comes from the pressure on Brendel. So they're moving Banks across the field, um, across the pocket, to have him block, and then they're thinking, okay, I need to have him come across because we're going to down block with my other with McGlinchey, and then Brendel needs to pick up yeah. the D tackle, which he well, doesn't also, do you, effectively. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this is bad blocking. They they leave Kittle in. So they have four guys to block three. Like, why don't you do it? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think that's where he's looking. He's probably looking for Jennings coming across because he's right there. Oh. He, that's that, There's your decision. So think think about if he's had, he has a clean pocket right there, what you're yeah. seeing. He's hitting from, Jennings. From the yeah. other side. He's hitting Jennings coming across there. But, you know, look. Off, off script, you know, he's off script. You know, Tittle gets his, Tittle, Tittle gets his block in and then – releases all right and it's a good pass you know yeah. it wasn't there originally but that wasn't his fault um and he takes he takes a check down which we do love ourselves some check downs he's gonna need to improvise on this that's all yep he's on the backfield again all 
Nice hole. Uh, nice no. Push. Somebody blocked. Who, who somebody missed somebody. Who missed the block? The Kittle? Or the Kittle and Kittle somebody Williams were on the same guy. Blocked. They're on the same mm-hmm. guy. So, yeah, let's see from this, from this oh. side. That's the problem. So, Williams and Kittle take the same take the same guy. So, we assume that's Kittle's fault. Kittle shouldn't have to double team him. Um, and should jump off to the. Wait, did he not? Wait, yeah, I'm trying to. Think, what, like, why did he do that? He must have thought he was coming. Did, off, did, I guess he was. He was kind of coming off of him. I guess technically he was coming off of Williams a little bit. Yeah. You know, so we decided that he had to go there as opposed to block down. But think about if he blocked the the safety. If he blocked the safety. Yeah. Uh, I guess he got to the other. <laughs> he got who's that on the ground? Was that Brunskill on the ground? Yeah, Brunson on the ground. Um, <laughs> all right. We, we always end up with a couple of linemen on the ground. That's all. I mean, it's just par for the course. I still need to wrap my head around this whole Brun skill slash um, Burford switch in and out stuff. I still don't understand it. All right, so we're second down. And they're heavy. Heavy, nice hole, nice blocking. Yeah. Nice McCaffrey. Like the stack box all day long. Yep. To, but both Mason, great vision. Yeah, but both Mason and McCaffrey were both in the top three this week for um bringing into heavy boxes. Yeah, heavy boxes, yep. All right. Yeah, we saw that. If you want to read more about that, go ahead and check Chris out on Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. all those nice little nuggets. All right, we'll toss play, get outside, and he's got really good vision, man. It's really, it's really impressive what he's able to do. Um, with decent blocking, but not amazing blocking up front. Yeah, I mean, Banks doesn't really block anybody, yeah, but he does enough where he can he's... cut back on Banks, you know. Brendel comes over a little bit late, so. All right, so we got yeah, another, another first down. If we're rolling like this, then Birdie's going to be in good shape, you know? If we just if yeah. we can get a first down every two runs, you know, yeah. then and then when he passes, he's got a lot of opportunity. Yeah. So th- this is you – know, it's unfortunate he went inside, but because of the fact that they really don't have a lot of blockers – or they don't have a lot of defenders out there. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> the the one linebacker was not was not um um tricked by that at all. He knew exactly where it was going. Oh, I, mean, I think he. I, I think. I mean, I think he's more up. broke on it like before the play even started. Yeah, I think he actually sh- he should have because if you roll if you roll that back real quick, we'll see. There's actually only yeah. So he, he's got to be there anyways. So that needs he, to be. His, I mean, it, he probably should have been there like to begin with. Like like. All right, so that's what it was. So they're corner, they're corner blitz, and I mean, well, there, he should be. Yeah, corner, the linebacker needs to be over yeah. farther. If their their corner blitzes into the wide receiver screen, jeez, should be a touchdown, right? Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, look at the numbers right here. You know, right there. But David, I think it's Levante David for the Bucks, fifty-four. I mean, he should have been over there anyways because if not, he's leaving two wide receivers uncovered. So that's obviously not what they're trying to do defensively. Yeah. And and you know, he does a good job of throwing it. To him and yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe maybe if we were on the other side of the field. Oh, it is on that side of the field. Never mind. No, it wasn't worth that. Um, I, that they're on the uh, um, boundary side. Yeah, yeah. So it's this just, is, so that was what we, we don't. Know, yeah, we don't have that opportunity. Was second and two. Yeah, I think it must have been second and a, second and a couple. But bad blocking up front, and they know it's coming. All right, Kittle back in the backfield. Um, it's like Croft up there, up top in the yeah, in, in the slot off the line. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah, so this is one we, we definitely get a little bit of help from the a defender. This is one he, I think you need to be a little bit quicker with 
we get mm -hmm. some motion again, right? This looks familiar, right? Then we just see this. Yeah, right. We get mo motion from are you going to the other going to the other side? All right. No, so he knows he's a man. So it's play action there now. Mc McCaffrey takes him out. Yeah. Yeah. McCaffrey takes him out. Well, the thing is, that, um, if he had a strong arm, it would be now to anybody, like any of them, whoever you want. Yeah, not yeah, not Debo. Debo's covered. Yeah, yes, I mean, he it too. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> no, no, it's got to be. I think that Debo is the one who got the penalty because he got tackled. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. So, I mean, there's a question, right? So, here's where you're at. You run the, you know, you got the play action. You're coming out. You're wow. 22, 22 has his back to the ball. Yeah, you know, he this has no, is he has a, no idea. When the ball's coming, you throw yeah. it to a veteran tight end. That's a touchdown. Yeah, you throw top. You know, top corner. Get get rid of that ball. Yep. Even now, you can still throw it. You I know. Can still throw it. You yeah. can still throw it, and then he waits a couple more steps. So I mean, look, it's a couple. You know, it's a couple steps off. It's a couple. Yeah. And I mean, it's, that's it's, stuff. It's, it's, that's stuff he can get. And that's stuff he can get better at. You know, which yeah. is what which is what it comes down to. Um, he's a little off here. He's a little off there. That type of thing. But he's not. <laughs> God, when we get in these like, you know. And goal. I hate that. I hate inside the. I hate inside the ten yard. I hate chain hands play calls inside the ten yard line. Yeah, um, I mean, they're just like they're like weird runs. <laughs> yeah, you know, run, run up the middle. We'll have a, a lot of guys like running or like pulling, and <laughs> it's just you know it's too slow. Yeah. All right. Second down and goal. Which is surprising, actually. Pat chose pass ball. Yeah. So not and, much as. Going a, on that, here. <laughs> what is that? I didn't. I I said, that's a big fat mess in there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of defenders and a lot of offensive players, and not a lot of real motion. You know, real motions to what they want to do. It looks like obviously they're trying to run some form of mesh with coming across the middle, but nobody's really doing much of anything. This is bad spacing um, by the Niners. Nice. <laughs> look at that. Look at that hold on Ayuk in the back of the end zone. I mean, he's hugging him, man. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's he's hugging him, but um, you know, look, it wasn't there. It doesn't. Yeah, it wasn't there. Let's yeah, I mean, I guess that's one thing. If they have all like, they didn't think that, that we were going to run this, which is so weird. We must be tipped them off or something. Mm, look at man, I got, they got five guys up. Yeah, but but, but they don't break line, towards six guys. I mean, I mean, normally, like they break, they would all break, be breaking to the ball right now. Yeah. And none of them are. So they, they were looking past there. This must be for Kittle. I assume it's for Kittle because originally, because if you look at both Juice and Debo coming across, they almost stop. You know, when they're running, they're not running full routes. They're running those stop to make that mesh for Kittle to get the touchdown. Right mm -hmm. there, you tell there's no slow motion coming across, but it looks like David sees this coming. He's trying to shed him right away. That doesn't do him any good. They're not, not really expecting that many guys to be in coverage, too. Yeah. yeah that's true. Like they're yeah. expecting more guys to run. And McGlinchey just holds his guy long enough for him yeah. to be able to. Um... Yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, that is that's the positive that he brings to the table that, you know, the Garoppolo doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Is, you know, well, first of all, yeah, I, I can't see Garoppolo trying to scramble there. Yeah. You know? It's not like he's not. I, I I feel like before all his leg injuries, he was pretty mobile, you know. And, yeah. and he, he can still put moves on people that don't really see it coming. You know, he's not like Tom Brady yeah. or anything like that, uh, you know, or like Peyton Manning. But he's he's not going to run that. You know, he's not going to yeah. try to avoid you know the sack from a you know from whoever McGlinch is trying to to block and then <laughs> and then put a little move on a guy. He's just that's just not the quarterback that he is you know he's going to throw from the bucket yeah, yeah. so all right so i mean that's, that's overall i mean i mean overall the thoughts he's just he's a couple seconds too late you know it's a second too late there's a couple steps too late you know i mean there's when he's not making the right decision it's not because he doesn't see the play in front of him that he's supposed to go to and see what his read is it's he's hesitating um mm -hmm. or not knowing when to throw it at the correct time which Oh, you just mute, mute yourself again. That's you space bar, man. That's that space bar. Um, it's something that can be taught and that he can get better over time. Um, 
And I think that's, you know, that's one of the, one of the big positives when it, when it comes to him. Yeah. He had, what have we seen so far? We've seen a bad, one bad throw to Kittle where he overthrew him and a couple and bad decisions when it comes yeah. to not make, not pulling the trigger, you know? Yeah. Not but pulling the trigger. He, he was saved by penalties. Yeah. You know? So yeah, it just goes to show you, usually this is the kind of stuff that happens for the other team, <laughs> you know, when, when we're playing great defense against them, you know, it, it's rare that yeah. we get those calls. I mean, I'm not saying that yeah. they were uh, bad calls because that guy definitely like tackled Debo. Yeah. yeah. But, like a lot of times that's ignored, you know? So. Yeah. All right. Let's keep on, let's keep on going. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like, even though this is a pass, you, you saw how. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you saw how all all of the um, um, linebacker, everybody w- was you know moving towards line of scrimmage at the snap because they know what he does on first. Time. You know, it's just like we yeah. just love running the ball so much. So everyone thinks run here. Look at McCaffrey over there. I mean, so this is, you know, one of one of the big plays in the Niners run, right? It's a it's a boot. It's kind of a naked, you know, a naked boot. They don't have somebody helping them out. Um, so it's obviously something that teams are seeing and they they understand they need to look for. You know, we see that the D, the D end does not overcommit yeah. um, to the run because he's waiting for the boot. It's almost like playing against his own read team, right? You yeah. gotta, uh, you know, you gotta look at the quarterback and say, I gotta pay attention to the quarterback. And I think it's the same thing that they're doing right now when it comes to playing defense against the Niners. Um, so he's there. He and he's in the right so open. <laughs> and, he's, and he's in the right spot, but like you can't. I mean, I don't know. Can you throw that ball right there with him bearing down on you? Mm, I'd say no. I don't know who makes I, that pass. He, I don't think he can. Uh, who can, though? I, I mean, I mean in this situation, you have to take a hit, you know, and you throw it. Yeah. I mean, he's open. It's just what yeah, you're going to But if you think you can avoid the guy who's rushing you, then yeah. you're going to yeah, I mean, he puts a nice. I mean, he puts a nice little move on him. He stays yeah. with the speed underneath him, and he makes a throw and then, barely. And then you, find, you know, you know well, the funny thing is, is he he was locked on to Debo there. If he if he yeah. wasn't, I think he had somebody over the middle who was open. That kid will come across the middle. Yeah, she's, kid she's get, maybe. I don't think it's Kittle coming across the middle. Was it Kittle? Yeah, it's gonna come across the middle. Yes, but so, I mean, this is so th- th- this is that the, been a so this is the look than yeah. throwing the ball to Debo because that that's a little bit scary. His that throw, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the problem, right? And look, I'm trying to see the positives, but look at the look at the arm strength with making this throw. Yes, okay, he's off balance. We get that. Okay, we understand he's off balance, right? He comes back, but he he's here and he's in a decent like. He semi sets his feet to throw, and he's throwing the ball. Yeah, 20, 20 He's throwing the ball twenty yards, right? Twenty yards off balance. You know, yeah. you have to get more miles per hour yeah, velocity yeah, because, on man, that throw. Yeah, that um, the cornerback that was playing short there was just like, oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, he just missed it. And again, yeah. like, good, if he'd read it better, pass, that would have been good job getting bad. getting away from the sack. Good, good throw. Good throw. But yeah, it needs to be better, or it's gonna get intercepted. Yeah, and, and let's see if you, and then locking on to this guy there, you know, because he was so concerned with avoiding the rush that he didn't think about the potential of having any other receivers on the field other than Debo. He wants to throw to Debo, so he's gonna throw to Debo. Like he doesn't look anywhere else. Oh, and he's lucky that other guy wasn't wasn't looking that direction. <laughs> Twenty two. Yeah, but hey, it worked. <laughs> God, we better run it. <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> yeah. too. Shan, come on, buddy. <laughs> I mean, look him in the box, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know. Yeah. And, Even and if you don't want to add, they're add. all going towards the wall. Like none of them are. None of them think that you're throwing anything else. The wall, <laughs> you know. Yeah. They know you're running. All right, so we got we got Devo in the backfield, and we got McCaffrey at, at wide out here on the bottom. We just went in motion. I think he started in the back. I think he started in the backfield. Yeah. All right, second second I, down. You can already see their their linebacker. Um, yeah, was obviously going to blitz in that play. Hopefully, he saw yeah. that because then you throw to your 
hot read, which is yeah. T-bar here. Right. But it needs, it needs yeah. to be sooner. Yeah. Yeah. It needs it needs to be it needs to be earlier. You know, yeah. I mean that's that's who we should be throwing to with that blitzer coming across um, the side. Let's look at the D. Let's look at the line again. I mean, this is an interesting. I think this is interesting defensively for them because you know, if you're thinking Brendel needs to get there, you know, which is what I originally thought when I originally saw it. Okay, Brendel needs to get over there, but he Brendel is really reading. He should be reading both guys. Um, he should be reading both of the linebackers, well, and the well, one on the left goes. Yeah. Well, if he were better, he would know very, very quickly which one was pushing and which one was dropping because they're pretty obvious about it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he should be sliding, you know. He should be sliding. As soon as as soon as soon he starts to take a couple steps up, he should be sli- sliding to the left. Um, the kid will come – yeah, kid will just come out. Um, so, obviously, it would be nice if he slid to the left and then Williams can slide again. Um, but, you know, Williams takes the inside guy, which we, you know, which we understand. Um, but it just needs to be a quicker. It needs to be a quicker throw. Yeah, he's, um, he's, yeah, he got. But, but Debo's from, Debo, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when he first caught that ball and ran it, I just saw it play before, and I'm like, that had to be a linebacker, right? But he just completely shook and just sprinted to the corner like it was nothing. You know, I mean, he catches the ball not, here. Not the guy was covering him. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy who's covering him, and he comes out and just runs right past him. God, we're gonna miss him for a couple weeks. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see it on the other side. Oh, uh, you, you know, but Brent Brown, he, he thought that the other guy was splitting, just because of that little like step up or whatever. He yeah. he, it confused him. He could because look, look, he's looking. He's looking the wrong way because because the guy stepped up. He's like, oh, you know, you should be looking the other other way. Oh, now I see it. So he's really, yeah. really late there. I mean, yeah, he, he's even yeah, even out of his uh, stance, he, he was trying to to get to his right. So he just tried yeah. to do that. All right, so you got first down. Toss. Oh, nothing. <laughs> McCaffrey makes something out of nothing. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with both McCaffrey and Debo making something out of nothing is something we see all the time with the two of them. It's such. A great thing to have because I mean there's there's nothing there, but he's got great vision. Let's oh, burp back in and in. He's just, he's just sort of run walking back to the play. Yeah. All right, so we got second and longish. With we got like three or four on that, something like that. We should be throwing the ball, and we are. Hmm. All right. So there, he missed something, right? So yeah. We can just see. He, he thought about like, it. He thought about it. He looked at it, and then decided to not go. In that direction, and go to his his hot read again. So let's see what they have. We got going on in the middle of the field here. So we got Kittle coming across. Kittle coming across. He's gonna beat the linebacker. You know, there's the throw right there. Yep. Chuck it, man. And it's a, probably it's, it's an arm strength issue too. You what? know, in, in terms of mentally, in terms of mentally, you know, in terms of oh, he doesn't think he can make that throw. Which guy are you talking about? From which open receiver are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about Kittle. Oh, so I I, I would have thrown it backside. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, yeah, that's, um, McLeod is even yeah. wider open. Yeah. All right, so you should make that throw. Yeah. Doesn't even at this point you can still make it and he double clutches it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, and, and, again, and he's looking at what McLeod's even more open when he when he double when he uh, pumps. Yeah, and he doesn't need to get out of his pocket. I mean, this is a good example of yeah. He, he you feels need to like work within the pocket. He doesn't need to, but it's look, it's solid. That that pocket is solid well, yeah, right there. because because McGlinchey's not blocking anybody. Um, but I mean, that is a that's a that's a solid pocket right there. Again, that's something. You know, or, or, or is McGlinch actually blocked somebody? But they they pulled. Um, um, no, that's, Mc, that's McCaffrey blocking. That's McCaffrey blocking. No, McGlinchy lets him go. And so like, what, no. what does McGlinchy do here? He sort of like what? What on earth is he doing? He thinks he needs to help to the left. To help who? I'm not saying it's the right thing. I guess because we're pulling the. I'm just trying to get in his mindset because we're pulling banks to come across the yeah, formation. But he, but he knows to get a hand on him. 
But then he doesn't want to block him. <laughs> he wants to stand there and do nothing. I mean, look at that block by I know it's just a linebacker, but no, that, I mean that's a great block by McCaffrey. I'm a McCaffrey on on David. Yeah. All right. So he should be he's looking at Kittle. Kittle this is number one, right? So mm-hmm. ideal situation he throws that ball. Okay, let's right. say he doesn't want to throw that ball because he doesn't feel like he has the arm arm uh, speed to throw that ball. Okay, that's fine. Then step up and look for yeah. your number two coming across. Yeah, I think height's an issue there, you know? So, yeah. He's not, he, his McGlinchey's just staying there in front of him, doing in nothing, him, yeah. being tall, yeah. you know? Yep. All right. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking for something. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he he got something out of it, and almost it, the first down out of it. It was, here, it was definitely a, a blocking mishap. <laughs> I mean, this is this is good. Actually, he might be looking at McLeod. Or who's he, who's he looking at? I, I don't think he's doing it. He, he's not paying attention to anything. No, no, I'm talking about um, Purdy. But you said Purdy's what? Let me see looking at McLeod coming across first. I can't I can't tell. No, he's looking he's looking ready to kill. And and then he takes his outlet. Yeah. Hey, outlet for a first down or what half a yard short. Yeah. So we'll take it. Sign. There are a lot, lot of things that could have been worse than that. And then this is the I'm gonna be Jimmy if I get a lot of push. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy is so good at that, man. So good at that. But hey, McCaffrey. Again, he pushed the pile on this one. Like they said on the oh, on the man. telecast, he tries to take that thing like through like the C gap. <laughs> All See, right, so we got. Gonna, he's like, I'm just going to follow Williams here. I mean, I, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> but not not on a quarterback sneak though. <laughs> <laughs> he probably right. should be going the. He probably should be going the A gap. All <laughs> right, let's go. Um, all right, let's go first down. Caffrey motion and back to the little count. I guess a little counterplay to Debo. Oh, they, they faked the screen. Yeah. Because they ran something similar before, but not with Debo, with Ayuk. All right, so you got what second and long? What do you get? Like a yard, maybe, on that one? Yeah. So this so Shanahan think Shanahan's under the impression that you're supposed to run on second and ten for some reason. And McCaffrey gets what, four or so. So it's going to leave it to the third and third and six. Both linebackers are reading run right off the bat. Yeah, and you know, I mean, Jennings never touches a person on this play because he has no one to block because no one is near him because they're already, you know, um, going towards McCaffrey. All right, so you got third down. Um, All right. looks, like, looks like Debo's off the field. You got McCaffrey on the top, and you got McLeod and Jennings on the right side, and Ayuk in the slot. Kid on the back, bro. We need him blocking. I guess you did. Bring him. Bring in the heat. And that was the, yeah, the, the crazy, did he catch it or did he not catch it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Went back and forth and back and forth about that. All right, let's see it again. On this side. All right, so, so you got, this is interesting. They got a linebacker on the line of scrimmage and they have a defensive lineman. I think both, is that both sides? Like defensive linemen just hanging out as if they're linebackers. Yeah. <laughs> So I wonder where they're going. <laughs> what are they right. going to do, right? You don't think they're going to drop back, right? So they're bringing everybody one, two, three, four, five. So you bring, you're bringing six against six, right? Bring it, you're keeping Kittle in, although Kittle doesn't really uh, – I got a little piece of him. Yeah, you, got, yeah. you got enough of him. Kittle, Kittle was very important, actually, in that play. All right. Yeah. For him to actually be in there. And he's, because, you know, un, under the rest. Somebody totally missed their block there. Yeah, because you got six, you got six on six, right? So, and you pretty much know where they're where they're coming from. Oh, oh yeah, right? well, sixty four just got run over by both of those big fat guys who are playing linebacker. Look, they, so they're they, doing like a double twist with the but, but like but block one of them. <laughs> Don't just not block either of them. 
he, he, he went right in the middle. It's like a it's seven like times split right Debo, there. Uh, last week, um, <laughs> ducking underneath. Yeah, he went a, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> He's like, um, so, so take take one of them off, please. <laughs> then Kittle hey, just, hey guys, <laughs> where are you going? It's like his eyes are closed. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I give you get, gotta give it to Purdy. Um, yeah. No, no, he, he's got to throw this ball five yards farther, but yeah. Yes, he does have to throw the ball five yards farther, but they are, they are bearing down team. on him. Yeah. So this is a – and I saw this um, – But that's, it's, that it's still like, you know, when a guy's bearing down on you, he's a rookie, and you got – I mean, it's, it's, it's a good play. But, yeah. But he hangs it, man. Because, that, like, that's literally – I mean, I've never seen him throw the ball farther than that. Like, that's about his, as far as he throws the ball. Gotcha. And Chris has watched a lot of film on Purdy from mm-hmm. college, for you guys that do not know. All right, so um, let's look at McCaffrey here. Let's look at the, both of the routes from, from uh, Ayuk and McCaffrey. So uh, you get a little slant from Ayuk, and we get a little fake slant-ish from McCaff- McCaffrey. I'm just wondering why this guy is biting so much inside. Um, he probably the just corner doesn't, up. doesn't think that they're going to go deep. Yeah. He, he, he thinks that they're going to switch or something like that, but he, he just opens his hips up the wrong way. Yeah. And then he's and like, then he's, whoa! Oh, I can't do anything about it now. But, I mean, yeah, he just he lobs that thing over. <laughs> yeah. Again, he's under, he's under duress. We'll give, yeah. we'll give him that. Let's stay positive. But, hey, it's, it's six. It's, yep, that's all that matters. It's six. All right. Do not watch Brendel unless you want PTSD. <laughs> there we go touchdown all right i mean we're looking pretty good again yeah. like we said a little little weak in the throw but he's under duress but um yeah, he, 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 knew, he knew where to go he knew where to go he knew what his three was um and he made he made the throw yeah that's what that's what we need with the defense how good the defense has been for the niners and that's that's what we need all right, next drive. Debo going to the backfield. Like a quick, quick throw to, quick throw to Ayuk. I think it's just, a, it's just a timing. This is just a timing issue. Um, Ayuk yeah. gets a little held, held up um, out of his break. Um, I mean, yeah. this guy's he's really and, overplaying. And he's really overplaying the inside of him. McGlinch actually watch, block, block somebody on here on this play. Watch out! Oh. Watch the cornerback. I mean, the cornerback knows. He doesn't want to let yeah, him yeah. Come, come inside. He's overplaying. He's overplaying that slant. So, so, which is which is sort of odd since they're in single high. Yeah, it's like they know what we're doing. Well, but, but also like you're not really worried about him going going too deep. I mean, even though he scored a touchdown on last play, that was you know he sort of floated out there. Yeah. So this is. I mean, we think this is just a timing issue. It took Ayuk a little while to get out of his break, but. Ayuk is also, he's very, I feel like Ayuk is, we've seen a lot of stuff with the goal line with him where he's super strategic about making the guy makes the next step. You know, I'm not sure who's talking about it that I was watching a video on, but they're talking about how it's like a basketball move, right? You're trying to cross him over, so to speak. And Ayuk, he, if you watch Ayuk, he does a lot of that stuff where he takes a while to get out of his break, where he's not just running a normal slant. He's really taking multiple steps to the outside if he wants to go to the inside to kind of cross him over, so to speak. Um, so that's, a, I mean, that's a timing, that's a timing issue. Um, that's that's all that is, and that's you know how many weeks has he been thrown at Ayuk at this point? Yeah. One, you know, mm-hmm. like that's gonna take that's gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah, I um, mean, th- th- that's where that play was going, and he was going to throw it to him. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, second down. What are we going to do, Chris? Well, I mean, we normally run on the ball in the middle. Oh, oh Thank nice. You. Appreciate it. Nothing like with second and 10, getting an offsides call to go to yeah, second yeah. and five. Like, thanks very much. All, all Shanahan wants is it for it to be third and five. He just gives us the second <laughs> and five. Thank you. Uh, all right, sorry. This is the same play. I'm not going to fast forward. Waste of time. Oh, 56. Banks tucking your shirt. <laughs> yeah, you think it's offsides? Why are you going to have to talk about it? All right, so we're second, we're second and five. What are we going to do now? Run the ball? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. And run the ball. And first down. 
Yeah. Uh, no, almost. Oh, there he does. He doesn't. Yeah, they're, they're blitzing off the opposite corner. Yeah, corner on 26 on the left hand side. Yep, here he comes. Oh. Oof. Yeah, so thank God he didn't boot off of that because then he would have been freaking done. Yeah. All right, first down, toss. Oh, it's so nice <laughs> when you see one. Oh no, that was that was third. That was third and one. It's so nice when you see um, Williams have to go against the a cornerback. Uh, yeah. This is a nice little. This is a nice little pin pull. So we're gonna get a pin down by Juicy's and a pin down the D uh, D N. So we can pull Williams out to the side, um, which is a nice little nice little place. Which we need one yards, right? So you got Williams and you got. Are you coming down blocking? He's been really good in the, block, in the run game this year. Yeah. Um, and Williams just gets to sit on somebody, and, and the Niners get the first down. Yeah, I mean, just really, like, pre-snap was really giving that away. I think he was positioning his, his, uh, his body too much. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, he was, like, pointing himself towards that defensive end. Yeah, you got to be careful of that. All right, so we got first down. Here yeah, comes for, yeah, but first down is time for some trickery. Generation. But we don't have any time. He doesn't have time to do it. So, so I mean, let's see what we're trying trying well, to do. Well, I, I, he's got to be he's got to be the the hot read because he doesn't block the guy. You know? Yeah, because he, <laughs> Even lets though, him, he lets him go. Yeah, but which I don't know doesn't. I mean, he did that because that's what he's supposed to do. But in this kind of situation. Wouldn't it be better if your fullback blocks the guy? Yeah. <laughs> or like, or like, I don't know. Like, look at Kittle's action. Look at Kittle's action. He acts like he like he takes two steps in the direction. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. yeah. He, he actually he was going to go run help yeah. block, and then and then he he's going to go out for a pass. He, yeah, but I don't like yeah. this. Yeah, but like he, if you're going to send him out, you got to send him out better option. I mean, better than this. He's just sitting down. I mean, he's expecting. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. he's expecting forty-five to be pulled all the way over to the for the run. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but, Another thing is like he he's, he sort of like runs in forty-five's direction as opposed to if you're smart, he would just run in between those two guys. You know what I mean? He's like letting the guy know that he's there. You know what I mean? He's like, why did I don't yeah. know? I'm not sure why I did, why I did that. But you know, he, he would he had Ayuk open over the middle. Yeah, but. You know, not, but he'd need to block, to block, uh, Juice need to block. He needs to, need to, he needs to block that. Uh, so, end up getting what, a yard, maybe. If yeah. You're lucky on that. Like, they just knew it was coming. They knew the boot was coming for one reason, for one reason or another. They well, saw it mean, coming, they weren't. Because we keep running it over and over and over. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other thing is, is well, like, what is that guy going to do? Like, he's not going to run anybody down on the other side of the field, you know? So, like, why wouldn't he go for the quarterback? That's a good point. It's a good point. It'd be interesting to see if we see that the same play, but without the play, or without the boot, to see what um, the linebacker usually does. All right, so you got a little Debo. I mean, back the, action. I mean, of, of oh, course, is... on the next play, he, he did actually uh, – have something to do to play. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was late to it. He was just, he was sort of standing around. Yeah. All right. So this is an injury play. We don't want to, we don't want to see it again. That's a Debo injury play. Yeah. All right. So we have fifth drive, fifth drive here, something like that. I can't remember which one it is. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, this is number six, six drive. All right. All right, we're in the a little backed up a little bit. Um, I think the turn it was turnover on four downs, I believe. I can't remember. Mm. <laughs> Man, there's just nothing. Yeah, and you make something out of nothing. Yeah, where this ball is supposed to go, and where it ends up. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a banks. It's a banks problem. Um, it's a McLeod problem. It's a- yeah, you know, if McLeod, McLeod, McLeod and, didn't do anything. Yeah, McLeod and Banks actually make a make a block. He's got a chance of a little bit of a kind of a cutback hole. That's one of the things that McCaffrey's been great at is really finding where the cutback lanes are. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, they, they, they run blitzing again on that play. Like they yeah. just know it's coming. Second down again. So they had a good first down. It's first down. So, I, I mean, if we're able to move the ball like this against 
you know, teams like that. that <laughs> yeah, good job, Sixty. <laughs> why, why don't you tackle him? <laughs> oh, such good blocking. Good job. He, he slung it on that one a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I was just looking at the blocking, and I was like, it was so good. Yeah, I mean, you got four on two. No, you got four on three. There's another guy. You got two on one. Yeah, I mean, look at that pocket, man. That's pretty. That's pretty. Um, yeah, I mean, you have uh, Kittle helping out with uh, McGlinchey. Yep. Nice pass. Nice blocking. I mean, this is what, what you need, man. It's a beautiful offensive football. I mean, look at that. There's no, I mean, there's no pressure whatsoever coming off. Um, Juice gets a nice little chip. Yeah. Um, so it gives Williams time to maybe help out on the other side, even though he doesn't need to. Um, and then go back to his man, and he got killed. <laughs> we have three, three McCaffrey. But yeah, yeah. I mean, he stepped in that one and then took a good pass. Yeah, he hung, he swung it out. Have you seen him throw one that well? Uh, no, uh, let, let me see it again. That might have been his best throw. Like, I mean, when he really, really humps it. His, you know, really, like his best pass. Yeah, when he really humps it. I mean, that's what we're looking for. Well, which is easy when you have lots of time. But, but he stares him down the whole time, and he throws it to him before he's out of his break. So yeah. that, that that's up there. With, you know, even though everyone's like, you know, oh, and the touchdowns, like, yeah, they're, they, they weren't. I mean, they're 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 thrown well enough, but that's you know that that's a that's more Inside of a it's... big time. It's not a big time NFL throw, but that's an NFL quarterback throw. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what we're looking for. So that's good. Cool. That's really good. Now, now we just need to protect them. <laughs> yeah. So so now we got we got five. Or we got four four oh. wide with hey, um, juice on um, the bottom. Hey, we're running up on an hour, and I got to uh, take a take some of them. All right. Um, so I mean, overall. Overall yeah. thoughts. I mean, we can get the other ones afterwards if you want. Yeah. Oh, so over, overall thoughts. Um, I kind of said my piece. Yeah. I feel like you know he's he's good but not great. He needs to focus on pulling the trigger when he needs to pull the trigger. Um, and if he can increase his arm speed, um, we're we're in a good spot. But this is stuff that he can learn over time. Arm, you know, arm strength is you know it's going to take him longer to to get stronger with his arm, but. This idea of actually letting you know pulling the trigger when he needs to pull the trigger is, is the one thing that he really needs to work on. Um, obviously, the running game was solid, um, solid clips this week against Tampa Bay. You know, Tampa Bay's defense isn't that great, so that was a huge benefit. Um, so he wasn't in a lot of third and long situations um, like we have a tendency to be in the past. So I mean, overall, you know, I'm super positive about how well he's been able to play in these two weeks. Is he Jimmy? No, he's not Jimmy, um, but. Um, he's got some pieces. Was, and he's, he's, so got, <laughs> he's got some. He's yeah, got so all these pieces. Better pieces, arm. Around, pieces around him that, that are going to help him be successful. And the fact that he understands when he needs to check down, and he's got guys that are really good at check downs. We're in a we're in a good spot. Um, for hopefully tonight he can get that dub and then yeah. um, lock in the playoff. <laughs> lock in the playoffs. Well, uh, overall, you, you, well, you keep talking, and I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Overall, overall thoughts. Uh, I don't really do it on time. I got to go. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll come back and get my overall thoughts. How about that? All right. That sounds good. I All right. It. Until next, guys. All Good right. Talk. Go Niners. See ya. Yeah. Oh, hi. It's me again. As you could tell, I had a hard stop. But I am back to give you my final thoughts on Brock Purdy. Overall, Purdy is a gamer. And I've been pleasantly surprised with this play over the past two weeks. And who wouldn't be? <laughs> but it's obvious that he's a smart kid who possesses the ability to process information quickly. 
And I really originally thought his upside was basically what we've seen from him so far. But after reviewing his NFL tape, you know, it's obvious that there's a lot of room for him to grow as a true passer in the NFL. So I have watched a lot of his college film and scouted him for the draft for fans sided in Niner Noise. I'll post a link in the description if you want to read. It's, it's not overly negative. Um, it has some references to people who are overly negative, but um, I believe I just sort of tell it how it is. And I don't think that, I think that it, my, my opinion has changed a little bit, but not drastically. So I think it's still a pretty good read. So the one thing that we haven't really seen from him is the bad that came out <laughs> semi-frequently in college. And, but there's, a, there's like some really good, like really good plays, like stuff that you would, you know, highlight real stuff. And there's like ultimate highlight, low light, <laughs> real stuff too. So it, it was definitely, it was definitely, definitely a ride <laughs> watching him play in college. And I guarantee he's very frustrating to his college coach and to fans of the team because he didn't really become the quarterback. His, his last year that you, you know, that he, you know, many people thought he should have been coming at high school. So his negatives entering the draft were his measurables, the fact that he didn't really progress and he actually regressed during his time in college, and his lack of arm strength, which we keep talking about. And I didn't really view it as a total deal breaker like a lot of the draft analysts did. And they were, let's say, rather unkind to him. <laughs> I can't really say he's disproven a lot of these analysts because his arm is still an issue, but it's obvious the 49ers coaching staff is putting the work with him as the reports have stated with both his overall strength and then also his technique and his mechanics, which were problematic, somewhat problematic in college and uh, allegedly you know, were a factor in his inability to throw the ball deep. My, my fear for him is that teams eventually realize that they're playing him too deep because he's been played too deep so far. And then they bring the safeties up and then they press our wideouts to keep them out of rhythm. And then they pay attention to, you know, Shan's normal alerts. And then they just send extra guys at him in the run game. I think that would be the recipe for beating him. You know, I'm not 100% not sure that it would be successful, but if I were P. Carroll, I would just quit. <laughs> but if I if I were the uh, the coach of a team other than the Seahawks that was playing against Purdy, who was not playing for the Niners, then that's pretty much what I would do. And I, know, I mean, P. Carroll is obviously a very good defensive coach. It just, I don't know how much attention he paid to Purdy in his, in his, um, you know, his group of scouts did prior to it. And so for the tape on him in the NFL is, um, you know, it doesn't really show a lot of his deficiencies. So I really don't know what we're going to get from the Seahawks, but I assume it's going to be aggressive because they're playing us and they hate us and we're better than them. And we crushed them last time. Like without like really trying that hard. So hopefully that happens again tonight. And our running game has been great so far. Uh, um, you know, helping him move the sticks. And we need that to continue. And we need it to continue without Devo. So is Brock Purdy good enough? Can he quarterback this team to a Super Bowl? My answer is yes. But he's going to need some help. He's going to need some Help from his playmakers, which he has many, from his offensive line, not killing him. And he needs some more improved play calling from Shanahan. Shanahan really needs to focus on keeping him on schedule. He's made some nice plays on downs that were obvious passing downs. But 
at the same time, you've also seen him exit the pocket when he doesn't need to and given up big plays because of it. And we still have yet to see like normal McGlinchey turnstile McGlinchey out there. So he has not really been exposed too much from that side except for the first play of the game when he, when he got crushed. So for long term success, and, and that's not even an, that's not even close to being a McGlinchey problem in the grand scheme of McGlinchey problems. But for long term success, <laughs> long term meaning like the rest of this year, this offense can't be forced into bad third downs like they could with Garoppolo. Because Purdy is not your third and long guy. He's not that kind of quarterback. But with the way that he can extend plays with his legs, Purdy could be your third and short to medium quarterback or your whatever down and goal quarterback like we saw on his quarterback run. So there is some some positive that we can um, take from those games and ways that he is better than the, you know, well, we haven't really seen um, Trey scramble like that. I'm assuming that Trey is probably fairly good at it, but I don't know. Who knows? And, you know, grapple is not really his thing. And, or if it is his thing, he's probably getting injured. So that's something that pretty brings to the table that, at least with Garoppolo, uh, did not. So that's a positive. And, you know, extending plays on third downs, um, all we have to do is look at the Seahawks and what they've done to us over the years when they had Russell Wilson when he was good. <laughs> and, you know, even though he's not going to throw the ball deep like Russell Wilson again, you know, the ability to, you know, to sort of, to sort of run around and, and exit the pocket in different ways and spin out of stuff is something that he did in college and something that hopefully he can do on key plays in the NFL for us too. So, like you're probably tired of hearing me say, <laughs> the Niners need to stop running so much on early downs because it's stupid. They need to keep their offense on the field on fourth downs because that's smart. And they need to be creative and aggressive. So, like real all gas, no brakes. So, if Shanahan can do that and the line can keep him from getting hit so often, then Brock Purdy can win the game tonight and lead the 49ers on a deep playoff run in the 22 23 playoffs. So, you know, the the playoffs are on the line tonight in that if we win, then we're in. And it's not necessarily necessarily that we're out if we lose, but you know, it'd be really nice to, you know, check that box <laughs> and and know that we're going to be you know not just the walker team but we're at least gonna have one home game and you know from that point when you get in the playoffs anything can happen and like we saw in 2019 we didn't really need Garoppolo for a lot of it and which is good because of some of his knee injuries and all that kind of fun stuff and unfortunately it didn't work out for us but you know we can't rep correctly so um, you know, that's a, not a road we need to walk down and I should probably end this soon too. So of course, if we go back to the vanilla play calling and our offense is totally terrible tonight, it's a, it's realistic, uh, possibility. Like we, I have no idea what's going to happen tonight. Like who knows? And I don't think that anybody who says that they know, you know, is credible <laughs> because we could see the same Purdy or we could see, we could see bad Purdy because bad Purdy is not pretty, but we've seen that like good Purdy is pretty cool. And, you know, his just ability to, to take over being that young, being that inexperienced at the NFL level, right off the bat and win is, you know, it's what I hope that, that we drafted when we drafted him. So that's good. And there's a lot on his shoulders, but there's really a lot on the coaching staff to put him in the right situations to be successful. And I'm going to say that Shanahan realizes some of what he needs to do. And he gives Purdy the platform that he needs to continue winning games this year. So creative and aggressive. And 
be your best self, Shani. <laughs> like look in the mirror, <laughs> like Saturday Night Live. And you be your best self because if you are your best self and you're the best coach that you can be, I think that Barack will be the player you need him to be moving forward. So with that, um, Seahawks game is coming up soon in a couple hours. So let's be the those Seahawks and go Niners. Thank you.